What's up, family? Jared the Boss Man here. You're tuned into the Boss Man Show on AM 1010, AM 1430, 1055 The King. Get the King out at 105theking.com and the Boss Man Show at bossmanshow.com. Hit me up on Instagram, the Boss Man Show, Twitter at Boss Man Show, and Facebook, Boss Man Show. It's the Boss Man on your radio. Listen to the Boss Man Show with your host, JR, Saturdays at 9 a.m. right here on AM 1010, The King. What's up, good people? Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. The latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wages, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use your promo code BLEAV, B-L-E-A-V, for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online when the game starts. BS3 Network, changing the way you watch TV. Yes, BS3 Network, changing the way you watch TV. Covering content and hot topics from A to Z. Sports, music, society and culture, movie reviews. You name it, we have it. Check it out on bs3network.com or check us out on Roku, BS3 TV on Roku. As well as check out your favorite podcast on all podcast platforms or Spreaker.com backslash BS3 Network. You are now tuned to BS3 Network. You see him on the screen, friend of the show. I'm about to say Horace Coach Tony and Matlock doing big things in Montgomery. What up, Coach? How you doing, brother? What's going on, boss man? How you doing, big fella? Man, summertime is winging away. Basketball season right around the corner, man. Loving life, brother. Let's do it. You know it. You know it, man. It's that time of year, man. You know, starts football is about to start. And you know, once that gets going, man, basketball is on its way. No doubt, man. That coach, now, I know the record wasn't what you wanted last year. Talk about how your team fought and you set the culture, the markets, what you want to build this thing out at Alabama State as you all grow and build and as an athletic department all together and with basketball and football and things you're doing all around the campus there. You're right, man. Exactly, man. Uh, I've been a, I've been a college coach for 27 years, man, and, and last year was was tough on me, tough on my players, tough on my staff, man, the worst year I've ever had as a as a college basketball coach. Uh, but you know, it, stuff happens. You know, we had uh, we had a, a year where we had four surgeries uh, last year. Three of them were season-ending surgeries. You know, my leading scorer broke his leg in a, in a game. You know, I had a, a freshman that was starting that never got to swag play. I had another freshman that I thought was going to be really good for us. Uh, never played a game last year. Uh, then I had you know a guy that I thought was going to be a, a starter for me. He had surgery in uh, in the summer going into the year, and he was just never right. So, you know, those guys, you know, played a big part of it, but no excuses. We had, we still had enough to get it done. We just didn't get it done. So, uh, but I, I like, I like the guys that we have here on this program now, and and uh, we're going to see if we can turn this thing around, man. 100%. And I do feel like this though, coach, you like you agree with this. I feel like even though it wasn't what you wanted, this guys who stay, who returned to you and played got valuable experience. Cause we know, you know, I both know experience is everything. And, you know, you can throw into that fire, you do anything you want to in practice, but when you have to on that, on that game court with referees and another, another color jersey on, that's how you really grow your game, already know what your game is and how you can be as a player. 
No doubt about it, man. And we got some guys coming back, man. I think that's going to be able to to help lead us, man, to try to get this thing turned around, man. I got again, you know, anytime you got a, a guy like you know Isaiah Range, who was you know a, a, he was going to be an all league guy before he got hurt. Uh, he was really he was playing at a high level, you know, with my son TJ and and, and a couple more pieces, man. I think that you know the, the foundation is set now. Just a matter of us, you know, working and working hard every day and trying to get better. Uh, which they're doing right now. We just started school a couple of days ago. So, you know, we're already in this gym and we're trying to get better. In this summer, Coach, tell me about who are some guys who really popped in the gym this summer for you who got better on the court and got strong in the weight room because that's important too because I feel like you got to be in that conditioning right now so you can really get through that long grind of first and second semester, you know, to the to March. Yeah, and we and we had we had we having a, a a pretty big basic team on having some new guys, man, that I think they could they can really help us, man. You know, I got you know uh, you know Amar Knox, who's a kid that was hurt last year. Uh, he got cleared this summer. Uh, he is he's been really good trying to trying to get his game back to where it was coming out of high school. That was a high level you know recruit for us. You know Isaiah Range that I talked about, man. You know he hasn't been fully clear for contact yet. Uh, but he is he's clear to do individual work and skill work. So I think he's going to be a, a good player for us. Uh, Daryl Reed is is, is kind of the, the the X factor for us. He was a guy, again, that I told you about that uh, coming into the year, I thought he was going to be a really good player for us, but he had surgery last summer. Uh, he's starting to get, you know, 100% healthy. Uh, he's a guy, he's a he's a big, he's 6'8", uh, nice body, can step out and shoot it uh, with range, can score around the basket. Uh, so really proud of him. And then uh, some of the newcomers, man. We got some guys that we had, uh, uh, C.J. Hines, who's a, a NAIA All-American, first team All-American uh, from Faulkner University, who is, you know, a kind of a combo guard, can play a lot of point off the ball, can really shoot it. Uh, excited about him. Uh, Deontay Bass, that's a transfer from Georgetown. Uh, just an extreme talented, extreme talented young man. So it just just a matter of man, getting all these guys in, in, in shape. Uh, getting these guys to, to buy into our philosophy and what we're trying to do. Cause you know how I am boss, man, man, I'm a, I'm a grinder. I need guys that's going to play hard and compete. And if they do that, man, we'll, we'll be fine. And, uh, and I think that we have the right mindset to do that. No doubt. I feel like you, I'm not seeing your teams play, man. You all defend like crazy. You commit to the game plan discipline. You offensively get, take the right shots. I feel like your side of play is successful. Guys that's how I play hard and, also, for those who are not playing, stay alive. Stay yeah. in their gym. Stay ready yeah. because you're going to be needed eventually because of the yeah. way you guys play, how, how hard you all play. Again, again, and that's, that's the culture that we're trying to create. We're trying to make sure that these guys know, man, that you don't have to be you know, the most talented kids. You don't have to be. You know, we we know what, you know, our limitations are, what our strengths and weaknesses are. So, but again, if you can bring it, you know, defensively every single day, uh, every single game, uh, if you can be a, a, a grinder, a tough man, you know, have that dog in you. If we can do that, man, we'll we'll have a chance to win a lot of basketball games. No doubt. And, you know, now for this summer, Coach Matt Lock, if you find them with all the new seven new guys you have, with the guys running, did you do a lot of install during your four hours that, that you had or you was more, more like trying to get these guys better? Well, we it was it's, it's crazy that you say that because we spent the month of June really with just skill work stuff. That's all we did because, again, now we had some guys that – in the month of June, wasn't 100% cleared. So we did a lot of skill work stuff. I was trying to make sure my you know, rehab and recovery. So, you know, I spent a lot of time with rehab, 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 recovery, and skill work. Then when we got into the month of July, we started to do, on top of all of that, we started to add in some team stuff. So, you know, so so the, we spent a lot of time, man, on skill work, getting better, uh, uh, ball handling, man. We talk about it all the time, man. You got to be able to dribble, pass, and shoot dribble pass and shoot. So we uh so we we done a lot. We did a lot of skill work stuff in the month of June and then we started to put some team stuff in in July. 100 percent And you know, I'm gonna ask you about the, the caravan, man. Going on that caravan trip, send all the ASU wanted nation out there, man. Tell me about being here in, in Alabama State and how the fans love you all, how the fans did it to you all, and how they support or in you and your guys all the time, no matter where they're at. Well, the one thing that it started, man, with, you know, our, our president, Dr. Ross, and, and our athletic director, man, Dr. Cable, those guys, man, have have put a lot into this program, into the athletic department here, and knowing that, you know, it, you know, you talk about it all the time, man, the, the, the athletic program is the front door to any university. So, you know, we, we try to talk about it all the time, and they've put a lot of resources, and we're trying to get better. We won a lot of championships uh, around here, man, in all the sports. 
you know, and, and, and it all starts with the top. And so it's uh, the city of Montgomery really embraces Alabama State. Uh, you know, everybody's excited about the com- upcoming season and all the f- uh, fall sports. And then everybody will be ready for the for the, the spring sports and winter sports. So, uh, no, every, it's it's good here, man. I, I promise you, man, everybody's excited. The city's excited about Alabama State. Uh, the students on campus, uh, you know, it's been the last couple of days, man, seeing the guys and young ladies walk around campus, man. It's been a it's been a buzz. So, uh, no, we're excited about getting things started. And I see you got a lot of guys from, from the old time in Memphis on the roster too, man. And talk about using Memphis as that resource and that portal as well to get guys from Memphis. Also, with being in Birmingham, the spot. Birmingham is a, a great spot. You get to Atlanta. But you, you're in a great spot. You got a guy from Georgia on the roster too. Well, yeah. so let's talk about the ASU footprint for recruiting and how the brand of the ASU Hornets is really getting throughout the South South right now. And how we make a phone call, people not hanging up on you. They, they really want to hear from you now. Yeah, no doubt. First of all, being at a, a really good HBCU, being in Montgomery, Alabama, where you got a chance, again, with the resources, and it's a nice city, man. Anytime you can go out and get a, a nice meal, you can go to a nice restaurant, you can stay in a nice hotel. Uh, like you said, man, you talked about being two hours away from Atlanta. I mean, you know, you're talking about just being a, a place where you can recruit to uh, because of the city. Uh, you know, I'm always going to use my Memphis ties. We're always going to try to recruit the best players in, in the state of Alabama. Uh, the ones that's in, in Montgomery that can play Division One basketball, we want them to stay home. So we're going to try to do our best, man, to to recruit guys that that want to be part of, of of something that we're trying to build. Uh, we want to make sure that the guys that uh, that we recruit here represent, you know, themselves first of all, their families, and then then ASU and the brand that we're trying to we're trying to create. Yes, indeed. And to talk to me, this coach Matt Lock been a swag um, last year for the first time. Talk about the quality of coaching and in the swag from you going through it last year. It's in the quality of players don't get the shine they should, but are very good and skilled at what they do. No, no doubt about it. Hey, you know, just being in this business for a long time, and you know, you always have a perception of of you know what different leagues are about. And you know, being in you know, my first year in the swag, man, I guarantee you, man, it's these some of the best coaches around. Uh, some of the best talent around, man. These guys play so hard. Uh, these coaches do a really good job, man. And so I'm proud to be part of a uh, part of the SWAC coaching staff. I'm um, part of you know trying to get this HBCU keep going and thriving. And uh, you know, it's, again, it's it's just nothing but up for us. No doubt. And you know what, Coach Matt, like I've seen all these different schools like here at Clark, Brock, Morris, Brown, Tennessee State. I'm seeing how the influx of students of going to go to HBCU schools. Have you felt there as well on being the on the ground, how, how since 2020 people are really more locked in on going to HBCUs want to be a part of this lifestyle experience and learn from people who look like them? Yeah, no no doubt. And, and you, you said it, man. It just I told you earlier, man, just the last couple of days, man, we move in with this past weekend and it was as crowded as I've ever seen you know, again, from being here last year and, and, and moving in day this year, it was crazy. I'm talking about it was it was packed wall to wall. You just see the excitement around campus. And uh, that just comes with, you know, again, our leadership and, you know, the HBCU experience. And, and Coach, talk about this for your guys degree-wise. Being in Montgomery, internship-wise, that degree goes a long way. Talk about the partnerships you have based on your location for internships in summertime to help young men who want to go in any direction they want to go in with their degrees once they leave the Alabama State. Yeah, and that's that's a good thing about it, man. Again, so many contacts here with the uh, you know with the HBC experience and HBCU experience, and the guys that know that hey, here in Montgomery, you know it, it's you you're gonna be an ASU fan, you know you're gonna be it. So you know, it, so many guys and young ladies that go here, they're gonna be able to step out and, and find jobs, man. Not only here in Montgomery, not only here in the, you know in the state of Alabama, but all over the country, uh, especially in the South, man. Because you know, again, you know Atlanta is two hours away, and you know that's a hotbed for a lot of different, you know, opportunities for jobs. So, you know, we're excited, man, about all the the the, the leadership that we have and the guys can get out and go get go get a job, man. They can get a job when, once they get through playing basketball. And, you know, if they want to try to comp- continue the, the basketball life, of, of course we want to do that. But, again, because of the resources that we have, they'll be able to get, go get a good job. Last one for you, Coach. How cool is it to coach you, your son? I know I played for my dad for a little while and, I would say it was some tense moments between me and my dad, <laughs> but it was when we got through it. Yeah, how cool is the coach your son? How, how do you balance being dad and coach at the same time and keeping the wife happy too? Yeah, no, 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 no doubt, no doubt. But now it's it's been it's been great, man. You know, it started, of course, 
Well, you know, my first time coaching was, you know, when I got the job at South Carolina State. And, you know, it was, it was a lot of questions going into it on how it was going to work. Uh, because I, But the thing, I think the good part about it is him growing up, I never was that overbearing dad. You know, I used to go, when I went to games, I went to games to watch him and support him. And, you know, I was never that yelling dad, going crazy dad. I never coached him in any le little league or any of that stuff. So every time that I went to go watch him growing up, I was just, a, I was a fan. I was a dad. So, you know, I think that helped because, you know, when I had to coach him, you know, he, he, he never resisted anything that I was saying. Uh, he's one of our guys that's, a, you know, he's a, he's a tough, hard nosed kid. Uh, he leads by example. So, you know, it, it was it was easy and it's been easy. Uh, you know, he he plays hard, he plays tough, he has that dog in him. So as long as he does that, I'm I'm fine with it. So it, it's it's been it's been nothing but good, man, just to be able to see him every single day and, and how he's maturing as a young man. And uh so I'm I'm excited to to keep this thing going and see how we can keep it going. 100% Coach Mel out. Thank you for your time today, as always, buddy. The, uh, the Hawks schedule comes out tomorrow, so I'll know my skills. Hopefully, we can catch you. You have some non, non con games. They're here, man. So we definitely see you in person, man, and get to see what, see what this Hornet Nation is all about, brother. Man, come see us, man. Come see us. we right down the road, man. I appreciate you, boss, man. Anytime, Coach. It was good. Talk to you as always, brother. All right. Stay up. Peace. BS3 Network, changing the way you watch TV. Yes, BS3 Network, changing the way you watch TV, covering content and hot topics from A to Z, sports, music, society and culture, movie reviews, you name it, we have it. Check it out on bs3network.com or check us out on Roku, BS3 TV on Roku, as well as check out your favorite podcast on all podcast platforms or Spreaker dot com backslash bs3 network you are now tuned to bs3 network what's up good people bet online is your number one source for all your betting needs the latest odds lines and matchup reports for baseball boxing golf and more bet online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wages including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use your promo code BLEAV, B-L-E-A-V, for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online when the game starts. What's up, family? Jared the Boss Man here. You're tuned into the Boss Man Show on AM 1010, AM 1430, 105.5 The King. Get the King out at 105theking.com and the Boss Man Show at bossmanshow.com. Hit me up on Instagram, the Boss Man Show, Twitter at Boss Man Show, and Facebook, Boss Man Show. It's the Boss Man on your Radio. Listen to the Boss Man Show with your host, JR, Saturdays at 9 a.m. right here on AM 1010, The King.